Did you know that iCloud gives you only five gigs of storage for free? I mean, come on, that's basically nothing. And if you use other non-Apple devices, there are solid and valuable alternatives to the iCloud that might serve you better. So in this video, we'll compare iCloud and its competitors and let you find the one that can give you the most value. Important news, you can subscribe to any cloud storage solutions that we'll be discussing in this video by using the links downstairs in the video description. So here's the deal with iCloud. You get a cool five gigs of free cloud storage, but <laughs> here's the catch. If you're juggling some non-Apple gadgets along with your iPhone, there might be some better options out there. And that's why in this video, we're gonna dive into iCloud and check out some other alternatives that make your life easier when it comes to syncing and collaborating across different devices. Look, I understand how confusing multiple choices can be. So I decided to make your life easier by rating the cloud storage solutions based on security, pricing, and features. Now, based on the three comparison categories, I'll be using a 10-star rating system to tell you what I think of six cloud storage platforms. Now, as you've probably guessed, well, one represents the lowest rank, while 10 indicates the, you clever people, the highest. That's right. Now, it's time for the best cloud storage solutions for iPhone to go head to head. Who comes out on top? Well, you'll just have to see for yourself. Let's get into it. OneDrive was one of the first cloud storage products that popped on my screen while searching for the best iPhone storage. Is anyone surprised? No. It is a product of Microsoft, one of the biggest tech companies in the world, and that makes this cloud storage popular. But it's not only popular, it's also effective, in my experience anyway. OneDrive came pre-installed on my Windows computer and collaborated well with my iPhone. And that means I can edit files on my iPhone and the changes will automatically reflect on my computer. When you create a document in a Microsoft app, it's accessible in your OneDrive from any device, giving you, well, next level collaboration. Oh, and if you mistakenly delete a file from your OneDrive, its two-step deletion feature keeps it in the trash so that you can restore it. Clever, right? Now, while I do like these features, none of them really stands out. So OneDrive gets only six out of 10 from me. Now, how does it fare when it comes to security? Well, OneDrive sends me real-time notifications whenever I edit a shared file. Now, this feature can let you know about unauthorized access. Also, OneDrive has the personal vault feature that offers extra security with identity verification. So no one is gonna get past this security and it's as tight as anything you can think of. Seven marks for OneDrive in this category. So now pricing is where OneDrive thrives. You can pay $2 monthly for 50 gig storage or $7 for one terabyte storage bundle with Office 365 Personal. OneDrive offers other plans that come with Office 365 and you can either choose a home or business plan. There's also the option to choose only OneDrive without Office 365 features. Now these offerings make this storage system a great value for money. Eight out of 10 for OneDrive people. Now this video is tickling your fancy then you don't wanna miss out on similar enlightening videos Hit the subscribe and the like buttons to find more videos that will help you choose the best cyber products always. So on to the next cloud storage provider, Dropbox. Dropbox does well at file syncing and synchronization, which makes it ideal for iPhone. Now storage offers selective and smart sync. While selective sync lets you pick which folders to sync to your account, smart sync lets you choose which files you store locally and in the cloud or just online. It's up to you. But some may find this too bulky, especially when a cloud storage like pCloud sets up your sync folder as a virtual drive that takes up no local space at all. Dropbox also allows you to share files through an email invitation or link generation. And this process, well, it's just too demanding compared to a storage like OneDrive, which just makes every folder and file available automatically. Clearly, Dropbox features are not super ahead of the competition. So the storage gets a five out of 10 from me on features. On security, Dropbox packs most features that you would expect from a cloud storage platform. It protects your data with the AES 256-bit encryption to keep those hackers away. And it also offers a two-factor authentication feature to give you that extra layer of protection. Hmm, yeah, yes. I think it deserves a seven out of 10 here. Now on pricing, Dropbox offers a free two gigabyte plan. <laughs> a free two gigabyte plan, how generous. The paid plans are also not that generous. Two terabyte storage for $12 a month, three terabyte storage for $20 a month, 
and five terabyte storage uh, shared by three users for $18 a month. So only a five out of 10 for me on pricing. Google Drive, next to my options list, and it's not a pushover. This platform's seamless integration with Google Docs and Microsoft Word is one of its greatest strengths. I accessed files in Google Drive and edited them on my iPhone. And guess what? <gasps> the changes reflected on my Windows computer. What? While Google Drive has selective sync like Dropbox, it's the sync folder that won me over. This feature just automatically syncs all your folders, which is great if you don't have much space on your iPhone. Ultimately, Google Drive's features get 7 out of 10 for seamless integration and syncing. Now, on security. Google Drive doesn't leave anything to chance. When you upload your files to this cloud storage, it's encrypted in transit and at rest with TLS SSL encryption protocol and AES 256-bit encryption, respectively. <laughs> One more thing. You can protect your files on Google Drive with the two-factor authentication. So it's another seven out of 10 mark for Google Drive in this category. On pricing, Google Drive is not one of the cheapest cloud storage providers on the internet, but its flexible plans caught my eye. You can either go for the basic, standard, or premium plans for personal use, or the business plans for professional use. That's in addition to Google Drive's generous 15 gigs of free storage, which pushes it all the way to eight out of 10. Oh, the almighty P Cloud is next on the hot seat, and believe me, it holds its own well. P Cloud comes with a feature called instant file synchronization, and this feature provides access to making real time changes across devices. Now, P Cloud also easily works with iOS features, from printing files through AirPrint to sharing files using AirDrop. And this is where it slays top providers like Google Drive and OneDrive. You could say that P Cloud is made for iPhones. P and, yeah. Oh, one more thing. pCloud makes five copies of your files on a service for extra security. So if your original file gets deleted, there is always a backup to fall back on. How amazing is that? And pCloud, well, that gets a near perfect score of nine out of 10 for features. Regarding security, pCloud is one of the best cloud storage solutions out there. Yes, that's right. I said that. It uses TLS SSL encryption to protect your files during transfer to pCloud servers so that no joyless hacker gets to mess with you. And even better, pCloud offers the zero knowledge encryption option, which keeps your files out of anyone's reach, even the reach of pCloud itself. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> yes, of course it is. But you're gonna need to pay a little bit of extra money for this feature. Regardless though, pCloud's a definite eight out of 10 for me in this category. On pricing, pCloud doesn't offer the cheapest plans on my list, but they are the most valuable. The plans include annual and a one-time payment option. Now that means that you could use pCloud cloud storage for a lifetime by making a one-time payment equivalent to what some platforms charge for only three years. So for pCloud's incredible value, it scores nine out of 10 on pricing. Now pCloud is currently the strongest cloud storage option on the market, thanks to its top features, robust security and valuable plans. And you know what? You can get 80% off your pCloud subscription by signing up with the link in the description. Sync Cloud Storage is another one that offers the features that you want in the best cloud storage for iCloud. It syncs well with other devices that are not an iPhone, making it a great choice if all your other devices are outside the Apple ecosystem. The power's in the name, huh? Sync also offers file versioning for at least 30 days. Now that means it automatically stores deleted files or previous versions of any files that you make changes to. Sync offers the service on a file by file basis which stops short of what you get from a storage like pCloud. Now pCloud offers a full account rewind to a previous stage with its rewind feature. Nevertheless, Sync gets seven out of 10 for these convenient features. On security, Sync gives you real time notifications about your shared file edits, which is consistent with what you would get from competitors like OneDrive. It also lets you protect your files with passwords. Now, Sync Cloud Storage uses the identity verification backed personal vault to enhance cloud security. I would have appreciated having the zero encryption feature for more confidence, but regardless, it is still a seven out of 10 on security. Pricing. Now, like most cloud storage systems, Sync offers free five gig storage, but its paid plans are more generous. For only $8 a month, you can enjoy two terabytes of storage. And if that's not enough for you, a six terabyte plan comes with custom branding and advanced sharing for $20 per month. There are also three plans for teams. Overall, I like Sync's price plans, which makes it seven out of 10. 
Now, before I review the last platform, which category is most important to you? Features, security, pricing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Lastly, the cloud storage that you are most familiar with, <gasps> the iCloud. Now, its biggest strength is the smooth sync with all of Apple's apps. However, iCloud does poorly in integrating other devices outside the Apple ecosystem. And that means you should look elsewhere for cloud storage if you use an Android tablet, a Windows computer, or any other non-Apple gadget. So, it's a 6 out of 10 in this category. Do you remember that time when several celebrities had their nudes leaked online? Let's take a quick memory scan. In August 2014, an anonymous hacker accessed hundreds of celebrity iCloud accounts and leaked their nudes. That leak dealt a serious blow to iCloud's security reputation. Since then, Apple has tried to strengthen iCloud security periodically. In December 2022, Apple launched new security features, including advanced data protection. Now, this feature applies end-to-end -end encryption to various files, but iCloud Mail and Contacts are not end-to-end -end encrypted. It's pretty disappointing. So, iCloud scores only 6 out of 10 in this category. On pricing, iCloud is one of the market's least generous cloud storage providers. Besides its 5 gigs free storage, iCloud Plus offers 50 gigs of storage for $1 a month, 100 gigs for $3 monthly, and 2 terabytes for $10 monthly in the US. The prices differ by country. In comparison, Sync offers 2 terabytes for $8 a month. Another 6 out of 10 for iCloud in this category. But now the moment we've all been waiting for, the winner of this fierce contest, <gasps> PCloud. You see, it offers robust security, valuable plans, and excellent features, including seamless integration with Apple and non-Apple devices. PCloud just literally blows its competitors out of the water. But look, that doesn't mean that you won't find a better fit among others. Look at the features and the price plans and choose what works best for you. Use iCloud if Apple makes all your devices because it offers the best integration within the Apple ecosystem. Meanwhile, you can get lower priced cloud storage plans by signing up with the links where, that's right, in the description. <laughs> that's what you get for being our viewer. Thank you so much. Now with that, thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on other informative videos just like this one. Our channel is filled with videos that can help you buy the best cloud storage services, the best antivirus software, find the best VPNs, the writing apps, browsers, and just so much more. And oh, if you have a favorite cloud storage that's not pCloud, please let us know in the comments. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.